guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this edition of new makeup releases. What do I really need? There is a lot about to release here at the end of May and into June. And so given that we are all recovering from the Sephora VIB sale, they're, they sure are throwing a lot at us right now. But there's a lot that really interests me and there may be things that you don't even know are releasing. So if you're interested in seeing what's about to release, at the end of May into June, what I'm interested in picking up, then stay tuned and just keep on watching. Okay, so we're gonna start off with something that I absolutely want to pick up and I want to pick up all three. It's about to release on May 30th and they are three new Huda Obsession palettes, the little nine pan palettes. I love those, I get a ton of use out of them and I find that the quality of those really is amazing for the price point. Um, like I said, they are $29 each and they are neon palettes. So she's coming out with pink neon, orange neon, and green neon. I am a lover of all things neon, so I am going to be picking up all three. Those do release May 30th um, online at Huda and Sephora, and then June 6th in stores. The packaging looks amazing, the shades look amazing, and I am super excited. And this isn't something that was very, um, like they just released this, maybe about a week, week and a half ago. So it was very unexpected and I am so excited for that. So the next product that I am absolutely going to be picking up the day it releases and I am really excited about this and actually I find that Natasha Denona is releasing things a little more frequently here and it is the Sunrise palette. So I will tell you the Sunset palette sold out so quickly. I remember I got up super early to be able to place my order and a couple hours later it was sold out. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the same for this palette but I do think this is going to be pretty popular given that the Sunset was so popular. This is releasing at Sephora and Beautylish, again, on June 3rd. So if you are interested in that, you may wanna look into that that same day. Um, but the packaging looks beautiful. It's red packaging, and this has like some purples. And I feel like purple is a big shade right now, given that I see a lot of brands releasing purple. You're gonna see another item that's primarily purple here in just a bit, but that does release on the third, and I do want to pick that up. So the next item, you're gonna find that this listing is a lot of things that I wanna pick up or have already picked up. June is just, May, June is just a good month for releases. So the next one is by ColourPop and you guys know that ColourPop releases things left and right. It's like they've released something and then not even a couple of days have gone by and they release something else. I am okay with that because I love the brand and I love this palette series even more. It's their monochromatic palette series. I have all of them in the lineup. And just a couple of days ago, they released the Blue Moon palette. So they had released the main squeeze palette a couple of weeks ago. It was the Watermelon Primarily Reds palette, and I love that palette so much. I've gotten a lot of great use out of it, and quite frankly, when I've gone to Sephora, the employees have asked me what I'm wearing on my eyes, and it's crazy to tell them that it's just a $12 palette that I'm wearing. Um, but Blues also seem to be kind of the trend right now, and they did say that this was, that Blues was one of their most requested in the monochromatic lineup, so they did release the Blue Moon palette. It looks beautiful, and I already placed my order to pick that up. I'm super excited about this one, and this was a definite yes for me. Um, let's move on, and this is a summer collection by Marc Jacobs. So, of course, a couple of years ago, everyone went crazy about the summer collection because Mar that's when Marc Jacobs released the Tantastic Bronzer, um, which is that coconut bronzer that everybody knows and loves. Well, they're actually coming out with a summer collection in which two out of the three pieces are a little more suited for deeper skin tones, which I think is a good, I a great idea, not a good idea, a great idea because Tantastic I don't think it's suitable for all. And then the dew drops, anyways, the highlighter or the luminous um, highlighting drops, I can't remember the coconut ones. I do have those, but those are more of like a champagne gold. Um, and so they are actually releasing a blurring, undercover blurring coconut face primer. Um, creates a smooth canvas and extend makeup wear with this blurring primer that looks undetected on all skin tones. It controls shine without drying skin for a fresh, soft, matte finish. The other product is another shade of Omega Bronze. It's a warm, deep shade in the 
shade Tantalize. And then lastly, they have a new shade of Dew Drops, um, also in Tantalize. So the bronzer and the highlighting drops kind of go hand in hand. They are a deeper shade, and so it's gonna suit more skin tones this go around. So now with these two different shades, you can reach a whole lot of people, which is nice. So I definitely would pass because of my skin tone on those two products. I am also actually gonna pass on the primer. Um, I have used the coconut primer, used it up, and it was one of those that I didn't love so much to have to go and repurchase. And I've got a couple of primers that really are high on my list right now. And so those three products are gonna be a no-go for me, but I think they're gonna appeal to a lot of people. So next up is something that you've probably seen all over the internet and they are the Jaclyn Hill, um, Jaclyn Cosmetics lipsticks. So she had said back in the day that lipstick would be her first product, but if you watched her reveal video, she did say she has a lot of other things up her sleeve. So I'm pretty certain that this is gonna be the first in a wave of releases. I always find when there's a lot of option, like I think she's got 20 different shades, that I find it hard to choose and it becomes a little bit overwhelming and then I don't wanna order anything but she is going to be doing bundle of trios, trio bundles, I guess you could call them. And one of them is right up my alley. She did say it was um, consisting of the three shades she uses the most, and it's called the Nude Mood Trio. It will be $45. Each of the four sets of trios are $45 each, and they're gonna be $18 individually, uh, each lipstick. And those do release on May 30th. So I really have my heart set on that Nude Mood Trio, and I'm hoping that her site doesn't crash. I feel like there's been a lot of advancements in the way of websites really boosting up how much traffic can get through the site, because y'all remember back in the day, Mac would get frozen when everyone was trying to buy those limited edition collections. Um, the Morphe site has gotten bogged down with the initial Jaclyn Hill collection. Anyways, um, so I really hope that it can handle all of that, but that is the one that I would really like to get my hands on. Um, next up, so I'm not usually a, like, if I see a new beauty blender, I'm like, oh, I have to have that one. I don't usually do that because to me, the beauty blender is the beauty blender and I've got a pink one and I have a backup and I think I'm good, but they're releasing a yellow one and it is... Um, I think it's called Joy. When Treadmoon posted about it, she said hello to Joy um, in caps. So it is currently on the Beauty Blender website. It is a ye lemon yellow shade. It looks, something about yellow is just so happy. And this one really got my attention. So yes, I think it would look pretty dirty as time goes on because of the foundation. My pink one looks pretty dirty all the time even though I wash it. But something about this shade really makes me want, it really gives me joy. It sparks joy. <laughs> so this is one I probably do want to pick up. It's of course the standard price, which I think is $20 for all of them. The I think that is the standard price. Um, not yet sure when it's coming to Sephora. I checked a day or two ago and it still wasn't there. So I'm going to keep checking and as soon as that comes out, I do want to pick that one up. Next up is a beauty product. It's not necessarily makeup, it's skincare. Um, I guess it's all classified as beauty, but it is a skincare product and it is the Fresh Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash. Um, it's a gentle exfoliating face cleanser that removes impurities and excess oil without drying while refining the look of pores for smooth, soft skin. So I have been super into skincare lately, especially with all of the hits uh, like amazing products that I picked up during the sale and have really been working for my skin. So total side note, I'm not wearing any foundation today. And so that's how good this skincare stuff that I picked up has been, like it's been working for my skin. And so no foundation. So like things that are now releasing in the skincare area um, really do pique my interest because it makes me want to even more so try out skincare products. Um, the only thing about Fresh is that I did try their, I think it's the soy cleanser and that one broke me out. I didn't like it and I think it just kind of stayed in my mind as just the Fresh cleansers, but I think it was just the soy cleanser that just, you know, didn't agree with me. And so the fact that this has strawberry really makes me want to try it. Um, and I am in need of a good cleanser. I've been using drugstore cleansers and they've been working really great for me, but I'm always down to try a good higher end 
you know, cleanser, especially one that may smell really good. Um, but this isn't, I don't know, it's going to be $33. It releases on Sephora's website on May 28th. So I think this is going to be a maybe. I think I want to kind of give it some time and see what the reviews say. Although these reviews get more and more bogus by the day. Um, I, I have gotten to where I don't read the reviews on Sephora anymore because several things. Some of them look like it's the same comment over and over. Some of them, well, a lot of them will say, oh, I was provided this product free. Not that you, I, I guess, I don't know. You can look at it one of two ways, but um, it's almost like all of the reviews end up being people who uh, were provided the product in order to review. And so I kind of want to hear from someone like me, the average consumer who I picked it up, I purchased it, and here's what I think about it. Um, but anyways, so that is that. That's going to be a definite maybe. The next item, let me get to the picture real quick. So this particular lineup has already released on Urban Decay, uh, Urban Decay's website, and I'm just waiting for it to hit Sephora. You guys know that I frequently use the heavy metal glitter liners. So there's a couple that I use pretty frequently in my crease. Um, you'll see them from time to time in my videos where it's like super sparkly in the crease, and it is the Urban Decay heavy metal glitter liner. I don't go ham and buy all of them. I have three. Over the course of everything that they've released in that lineup, I've purchased three. But there are some that are releasing or that have released and are waiting to come to Sephora that are so pretty that I really do want to pick up a couple of them um, and it is the um, well there's eight new shades in the heavy metal glitter eyeliner lineup there is a super bright green there is a beautiful bold yellow and then there's like this lavender and those three are really calling my name so they're $21 each and again I'm waiting for them to hit Sephora because I do want to pick those up however they also released within this lineup they released glitter gel which you guys know I love all things glitter so that kind of that intrigues me but not enough to want to place an order as soon as they hit Sephora's site I think I'm going to want to swatch them the liners I know I love so I knew that once those came into Sephora I wanted to get um, and then they're coming out with some new high fi high fi shine ultra cushion lip glosses and I typically don't buy their glosses like I'm really picky about my glosses and so um, out of that whole lineup the liners are what I'm going to get Okay, I am moving quickly through all of this. I've got three more products. So the next one has already released and I did not purchase it right when it released because I thought in a week or two, it's going to be at Ulta and I am still waiting for it to come to Ulta. And at this point I'm like, well, maybe it's not coming to Ulta and it is the Morphe 39S. I'm not huge on purchasing everything that Morphe releases because I find that it can be very hit or miss, um, but this palette is huge on purple shades and I love purple. There are some that really stand out to me and to the eye it's so pleasing because it's got a lot of purples and then it's got a shade of a pop of hot pink and then it's got a pop of like this glitter, um, I don't even know, taupe purple type of glitter shade. Anyways, it looks beautiful and I really want to pick this one up, but I know as soon as I order it for Morphe, it's going to hit the Ulta website. So I've been holding out. I'm going to hold out a little bit longer to see if it makes its way over. And if not, I definitely will be purchasing from the Morphe website. So next up is the Too Faced Tutti Fruity collection. So they released a few new products for summer. Um, and one of those products is an extension to their... Um, the blush duos and I actually have picked one up and I picked up berries and bubbly and you will end up seeing a review on that and the other product I picked up later this week so I won't disclose too much right now um, but I did pick that one up they also came out with papaya pop and like my melons the papaya pop the blush looks beautiful however the highlight piece looks a little deep for me so i passed on that one and then as far as the like my melons i love the cover but the product inside looks again a little too deep for me so i ended up passing on those two and that's why i picked up the berries and bubbly which suited my skin tone very very well the next product in this lineup is the triple scoop highlighter palette so i had 
this is another purchase or this is another product that I already picked up. It's just um, described as a hyper reflective highlighting palette. And you guys know I am all about super bold highlight. So I knew I had to have it. But again, I'm going to reserve my thoughts for the review that I'll be posting later this week. It does retail for $42. It's supposed to smell like Neapolitan ice cream because of the shades that are in there. They resemble Neapolitan ice cream. It's got the lighter vanilla shade. It's got the strawberry pink shade and then it's got the deep chocolate shade. Um, it's hyper reflective glitter and sparkling dimension ice cream inspired vanilla strawberry and chocolate and it has a soft and creamy pressed powder formula. So um, let's see the third product in or there were actually four products they extended their twinkle uh, liquid glitter eyeshadows those get in my eyes and I wear contact lenses so I don't even pay attention when they release those quite frankly but the last product they released was the let's see what is this called the pineapple glow um, which is a moisturizing and brightening face mask it's a gel mask which boosts radiant and smooths skin's texture with the transformative exfoliating power of lactic and glycolic acids prickly pear lemon and apple extracts work together to hydrate leaving skin plumper softer, smoother, and brighter. Infused with pineapple extract to exfoliate and soften skin. So this is gonna be, or it is $42. It has already released on Ulta's site. I am really big on buying my skincare from skincare brands. So I have found in the past that when I buy a skincare product from a brand that specializes in actual makeup, I tend to not be as happy with the product and its results and so I kind of just figured you know what I love Too Faced for actual makeup but for skincare I'd rather leave that to the products that or the brands that actually make skincare so I went ahead and passed on that you may have different thoughts on that and you may think that makeup brands really do come out with great skincare products and that's great um, so know that they came out with that in case you are interested uh, let's see, we have got another Too Faced mini palette. Do you remember in the, uh, during the holidays, they released the, um, Tickled Peach and Sugar Cookie palettes. I purchased Tickled Peach and I love that palette where they're about to release another one for summer, although they have not specified a date. And it is the Too Faced Shake Your Palm Palms palette. It looks so cute. Not only does the cover look cute, the shades inside look so beautiful and there is a deep olive shade. And I love olive shades because they make my eye color pop. So if you have got green, hazel, or kind of like honey shape, uh, shaped um, colored eyes, then olive shades will make your eye color just pop. So I already know this is definitely on my want list as soon as it's released, um, but all it says right now is coming soon. So we don't know quite yet when they're going to release that. A um, couple items left. One has already released. It is the Tatcha Satin Skin Mist. I have really been loving a lot of Tatcha items and most recently the dewy cream that I got during the VIB sale has been working wonders for my skin in addition to what my night or my night skincare routine I've been putting the dewy cream on in the mornings and in place of foundation and not been using any foundation then I go in with my blush my highlight but they are coming out with this is supposed to be like the sister or the you know, the water cream, this is supposed to be like that, but in a bottle in liquid form. Um, it's an oil-free liquid powder mist with Okinawa clay for balanced satin smooth skin. Obviously it's Tatcha, so it's gonna be a little bit higher up for a spray, it is $48, and it did already release, so you can pick that up. On Sephora's website, FYI, it does say to shake well to mix liquid and powders um, and spritz several times. So if you're interested in picking that up, there is that specification before you use it. So just note that. Lastly, there is a powder foundation releasing by Too Faced. It is the Born This Way foundation powder. Now, I'm not typically one for foundation powders. I just prefer liquid foundations. However, I love the Born This Way foundation and I love like my favorite concealer is the Born This Way Contour, Contour and Brighten. I can't remember. The concealer that comes in that thicker little jar or bottle, that's my favorite concealer of all time. And so given that I love those two in that lineup, I am really wanting to try this powder foundation, especially since I'm now going in with less foundation, no foundation today. And so I think it'd be kind of nice to be able to just have 
a powder foundation option, grab a huge fluffy brush, dust it off, and go. Um, it has not been specified also when it's going to be releasing except that it will be in June. Uh, let's see, it says, for all of the Born This Way fans, get ready for the creamiest, buildable, full coverage, most naturally flawless, multi-use complexion powder. So I think I'm really going to give this one a try, even though typically, like I said, I wouldn't, but this looks really promising. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, one, that you enjoyed seeing what I'm planning on picking up. That also gives you kind of an idea of what you'll be seeing in the Dazzled or Disappointed uh, video series. But I also hope that it helps in the sense of if there, if you didn't know any of this or some of this was going to release, well, now you kind of have an idea of what's coming your way as far as new makeup releases. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up if you found it enjoyable, entertaining, even helpful, um, and that you'll consider subscribing um, if you are new to my channel. Before I let you go, I just want to give you the verse of the day. It comes from Psalm 113.3 and it says, from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. All right, guys, thank you so much again for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye.